Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and here's the question. How do I remove myself from a document that someone shared with me? And I'm going to show you the two options you have in this video. This document right here was shared with me. If I double click on it, you'll see that I have full edit capability. And how do I know that? Because it says I'm editing and I have everything across the top here. It gives me the ability to change this any way I want, delete it or put it all back, whatever I want to do. Now, I have full edit. So this person who shared this with me, by the way, the person who shared it with me was Teddy Burris or T.O. Burris at BurrisConsulting.com, my primary business account. But you'll see he gave this account uh, be, uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com full editability. Now that's great if you want to if you want to do that, but maybe you don't want to do that. If you have full edit capability, that means they gave you full sharing permissions, and you can see right here it's shared. And if I click on that, I now have the ability to fully change who is who is shared this document. I can add other people, but most importantly, in the context of this question, I can remove myself. Boom. Save. It's going to tell me, are you sure you want to do that? You're going to lose access to it. Hit yes. No longer have access. Now I can pretend to do anything I want right here, but it's going to error out. Remove your changes and reload. And you can see that it says I need access. Now I could send a message to the owner and ask for access back. But the question was, how do I remove myself from access from that file that was shared with me? And that's how you do it in the context of a file sheet document, slide, form, uh, any Google document, whether you were given edit permission. Now let me show you the other choice. The other choice is you're given, if I hit refresh right now, that document goes away. Boom, gone. And all I have left is this one. Now let's look at this one a little bit. This one is different. I don't have share. I don't have edit capability. As a matter of fact, if I try to click on that, it's going to error out and I have to ask the owner to give me permission to share. So that won't work. And you'll also notice that I don't have the edit button over here and under file, edit, there's no edit, there's view, there's no middle, little or no tools, I don't have all the toolbox here. So I don't have the ability to change this document nor do I have the ability to, to remove myself from it. Now that, thus, you only have one option with documents that are shared with you for viewing. Close this down, come back to what's shared with me, click on it right here one time and hit the delete button and remove it. Now the, the user who shared it thinks that you still have access to view it, but you took it out of your share with me folder. The only way you can get back to it is go back here and maybe click on it again and bring it back in and now guess what it's back in your drive go back here and look and there it is again and so I'm what I have to do is I have to hit delete here to get rid of it there and I have to go to the email and select the email message or messages and delete those now I can still go get it if it's in my trash can but for all intents and purposes it's gone if it's shared with you you can remove and you have edit capability you can remove your your access to it if it's shared with you only for viewing you can't take it you can't remove yourself from the document but you can remove that document from your drive and remove the email from your email and just totally ignore it i'm teddy burris your google workspace and gmail strategist trainer and coach and i hope this is helpful for you